Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're taking a new spin on an old Clash of Clans attack strategy, the Queen Charge Hog Rider attack. So, we're going to try this out in Legend League on my first day back in Legend League since upgrading my heroes in Titan League. Uh, if you're wondering, the fastest way to get DE is mass miners because of the fast training of that troop composition in the farming army. So after a long, grueling two days, I have 75, 75 heroes and I'm ready to push in Legend League once again. The next season starts up in a couple days, but uh, I'm here early, so I'm going to be starting off with a couple of attacks, and we're going to see how far we can get in, I think it's four or five days left in the season. So here's day one, Queen Charge Hog Riders. We have 28 Hog Riders, we have the Queen Charge, a couple of funding, funding troops, two Wall Breakers, and two Headhunters. I've been toying with the number of headhunters, two, maybe three, maybe even four is the uh, appropriate number, but we'll figure that out eventually. But for now, just basically getting used to using headhunters, because I've not used headhunters at all uh, before the uh, update, and now we're just uh, getting to use them now. Starting off with the Queen Charge straight into the Inferno Tower area in order to take out the Inferno Tower, and that's also the same place as we can reach the Town Hall from. So, a couple of Rage Spells and Freeze Spell on the uh, Scatter Shot in the Town Hall is able to keep the Queen ability alive. So now, I also change up the CC as well from the Queen Charge hybrid attack that I've been using for a while, and it's taken a little while to get used to. Uh, using the Yeti Blimp uh, using the Yeti Blimp CC, and this time I forgot about it uh, until the very last moment, until I started thinking about deploying Hog Riders. So, I have those Yetis uh, in that compartment all by themselves. So, Rage Spell and Heal Spell used on the Hog Riders. I was able to keep them going quite a bit, and since they didn't need that Rage Spell on the Queen, they, uh, Hog Riders can use the Rage Spells pretty well as well. So Queen was able to take out uh, the Scattershot on the backside, and the Town Hall and Inferno Tower. And now what all is left is just the Expo. So, it will take out that base pretty quickly, and that's the first, um, uh, the first attack of the day. So using this strategy, I was wondering during the sneak peek time is if this would be as good or better than hybrid because of the ability for hog riders to just attack defenses alone so that had the potential of being actually quite a bit better than hybrid but it seems to be base dependent still uh, in my testing of typical actual war bases it seems to be pretty base dependent and it mostly depends on where the queen is and how easily your headhunters can get there, because headhunters will go across the entire base to reach the closest hero, so, and they don't target the Archer Queen or the RC specifically, so, unfortunately, that's, uh, you have to take that into account, so, it's just an extra variable to add into the attack. So, as you saw there in the first stage of the attack, we had the headhunter and the queen. Uh, at the same time going in on the king, and I was easily able to take down the king without using any extra spells. So that is a huge boost to the queen charge attacks in Legend League because a lot of times the heroes are on the outside of the base. And possibly you can also use headhunters for middle of the base on a war base, where typically on the war base the heroes are pretty close to the inside of the base. So next we deploy all the all the hog riders and the warden. Using the blimp to get into the town hall, because I didn't really have any area, any good area to use the yeti blimp on. But we're just going to take down the town hall with it, because we're at low percent, so we're really, you really want to get to that town hall, of course. And since the, unfortunately the blimp didn't quite make it, but we used the king ability early in order to get the percent down, or in order to get enough percent to uh, trigger the town hall, make it a defense, and then the hogs can target it later. So now that the town hall is down, we have one heal spell remaining, and we have two groups of hog riders working on the inside of the base and on the outside, along with the heroes. 
are down there as well, so they're going to be able to clean up the space quite well. Having all the having all the heroes on the outside walking around the base is really helpful in this case because there's no walls obstructing them, so they can keep got they keep uh, firing on all the damage. Headhunters are also working on the CC, so that, that's another thing that I noticed quite a bit while testing out the headhunters today is that you can't really use them very well in a like a Lalo attack or a Dragon attack, because they trigger the CC, and if you don't trigger the CC with your Sui attack or something else, then that kind of screws you up. So choosing this side of the base to attack, we're going straight at the CC and the Queen, and then eventually we'll figure out whether the Queen wants to go to the Scattershot area or to the Inferno Tower. And then we'll figure out how to deploy our troops, our hog riders, later. Uh, once the queen makes her decision. Right there, I could have used a headhunter to... Uh, I could have used a headhunter and the queen, but I think I would have had to use a rage spell anyway. Even with the lower level defenses for the uh, lower level cannon and the expo. CC's pretty easy to deal with, just three witches and a loon, so... Just use a uh, poison spell and you're good to go. So now is the waiting time. Trying to figure out where the queen wants to go. She seems to be going towards the scatter shot. And using the wizard to uh, make it a little bit faster to get to the scatter shot because we're wasting a little bit of time here. And queen. Now she's going up to the top. And she's definitely not going to go back down. Unfortunately, she didn't go for the Inferno Tower first, so she had to use the Ward uh, Queen ability pretty early. Using the Ward ability early right away, uh, once the Eagle Shots landed, it allows a couple of the Eagle Shots to not take any damage. Limp into the Town Hall with the Rage Spell just to make sure that we can get that. And so then the Yeti Mites can actually take a couple of defenses out that are outside of the Town Hall ring. So they're going to take down the Inferno Tower and a couple of other defenses as well. Uh, I didn't mean to drop the... Um, I didn't mean to drop the RC in a weird spot in that case. We should have just dropped it with the Hog Riders. There's no special reason for doing that. Um, there was just a... There was a bug with dropping or switching troops in a in a raid that had me messed up for a couple of days there. But that was fixed this morning, thankfully, at least for me. So we we're back to normal in that case. So that's yet another three star with this attack army. Three for three so far. Now here's a sort of mix of uh, anti-two star base and that uh, that sort of diamond base that was really popular before Legend of the Union began. So we're going to try to get uh, two wall breaks into the town hall compartment in order to take the town hall down so then the uh, hall riders don't have to deal with it. But if they do have to deal with it, that's fine. There are definitely other ways to deal with it, uh, thanks to this army composition. CC is triggered, it's two dragons. You see a lot of random CCs at uh, 5,000 trophies. So we have dragons here, we had... Um, I think we had... Uh, yetis in the CC as well. On one of the raids. I'm not sure if that's one of the raids that I'm going to be showing you guys. But those kind of weird army comp... Weird defensive CC options are uh, available down here. So Queen's working way around, and now we're going to drop the King. Uh, King's dealing with the... King and Headhunters are dealing with the heroes. Warden ability over the Eagle Artillery, because the Eagle can definitely kill the Hog Riders. And the Queen's actually getting straight to the Town Hall, so we didn't even need that blimp necessarily. But... Still going to use the blimp to get to the town hall. 
And that's going to put a bunch of damage down. While we have the Hog Riders working around the outside. And they're just working their way around the defenses. And the heroes are in the middle. Uh, RC is also helping out in the middle. And we just have a bunch of extra spells that we don't really need, but might as well place them anyway. So we have the RC going out, and the RC is actually very, very powerful. Very powerful with this particular composition. Same thing with the hybrid attack, that's why the hybrid attack was so good. Uh, suddenly, it just became so good. It's because the Hog Riders tank for the RC, while a Queen Charge Miner raid uh, with only miners, the miners aren't able to tank for the RC at the same time, uh, all the time, only when they're above ground. So when they switch to below ground, RC gets targeted and then it's over. You don't have that extra firepower and you definitely need that for Tunnel 13. And the last base of the video is the exact same base that I was talking about earlier when I was talking about uh, the base that was popular before Legend League even existed. Or what I meant by that was before Operation Blue Skies existed. And so we chose this spot with, for the Queen on the right side because we can take down the Inferno Tower and the Eagle and there's also both the scatter shots in the back side as well. And that leaves not very much defense in the way of our Hog Riders for the rest of the base. And we can just drop the Battle Blimp into the Town Hall area and we don't have to worry about that at all either. So. It's a win-win. King makes his way inside of the base, interestingly, and does clear out quite a bit of defenses, so that's actually a good thing. And he's also able to get a couple of damage points off on the RC, so that helps out quite a bit as well. Also down this path is both of the heroes, so uh, both of the ranged heroes. And then the Hog Riders and the RC going in right there, along with the Blimp, so then the Blimp can also catch the Warden ability. But we already took down the Eagle, so we don't necessarily have to use the Warden ability super early anyway. Dealing with the CC with just a Poison spell is completely fine with this composition. Uh, depends on the CC whether, whether it matters, really. With the Damage CCs that are very common down here. It's not of a CC is really not of interest in any way, since the RC can take down any dragons that come out, or and pretty much anything else can be taken care of by just the poison spell. And with five spell space remaining, we are able to take down this base right, <laughs> uh, really well. So that was basically the because of the layout of the defenses, having the Eagle, Infro Tower, and both scatter shots in the back, uh, where we did the Queen Charge, as well as two of the heroes as well, so... Yeah. So that is the new attack strategy for Town Hall 13, Queen Charge Hog Riders with the Headhunters. Uh, I hope you enjoy, hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.